Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something very, very interesting. Extremely, oh uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Yeah, we are going to expose you to how you can use um, artificial intelligence in surveying, right? Good. You know, recently, um, OpenAI. The links to um, all of these um, sites or blogs will be on the description section. Recently, um, OpenAI launched um, a new package um, called um, Chat um, GPT, right? Good. So it actually uses um, artificial intelligence and um, machine learning and some other stuff, you know, to help give you direct answers to questions like, you know, that um, Chat GPT, you chat with it and then it gives it's actually trained, right? We are going there very soon trained to give them um, direct responses to your queries. Now, so for an introduction, this is actually um, a brief um, definition of um, artificial intelligence. As I said earlier, the link to this um, blog will be, um, blog post will be on the description section, right? Good. So, you know, there are a number of definitions. AI leverages computers and machines to mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities of the human mind, right? Good. So there's another definition. It is science and engineering of making intelligent machines. Very, very important. Intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs, right? It is related to this simple tax of using computers to understand human intelligence because, you know, the human, yeah, human mind is very intelligent, right? Good. So we are now training those machines to be as intelligent as we are or let's say more intelligent than we are maybe. But um, AI does not have to confine itself to methods that are biologically um, observable. So when you maybe check through the, the blog post, you can um, read through to see some of the other contents that are that are within what these um, particular posts, right? Good. So what we are going to look at today is um, one of the packages of what Open AI, which is what the chat um, GPT. So um, when you yeah when you click on the link on the description section, you just um, try to what um, try um, chat GPT. Now before you start, you need to create an account. You can use your the Microsoft account or your Google account, or you can use your email and your password and email yeah, and a password to what to create an account. Right? Good. So we've actually created an account. So when you now come to try chat GPT open the new um the new window yeah right good so we are just going to run through a few things not just exhaustive as we said earlier we are just going to expose it to how you can use it in surveying right good so as we said earlier it's actually what an artificial intelligence package you know it can do so many things and one important thing i love about it is that it gives you direct answers to your questions so let's say you've actually got into this part and you know you can see examples explain quantum computing in simple terms got any creative ideas for um, a 10 year old but the, the capabilities what it can do and then the limitations what it might not be able to do presently right good so now let's come to the chat um as we said earlier it's actually a chat yeah chat because you know you interact with the ai and then it responds or it responds accordingly right good so now let's just start by the conventional greeting let's say um hello right good let's see the response you know you can start by saying hello maybe just for courtesy sake or you can just start by you know going directly to whatever you want to do, right? Good. So we have hello there. How can I help you today? Good. So now what we want to start with them, as we said earlier, what is what AI in surveying, right? Good. So let's see the response or yeah, the direct um, response that we are going to get. We have what AI in surveying. So now it's going to give us good, this direct response. Now artificial intelligence can be used in the field of surveying to automate tax and improve the efficiency and accuracy of surveying work, right? Good. Now, some of the ways AI is being used in surveying include machine learning, AI-powered softwares. AI can be used to improve accuracy of measurements taken in surveying equipment. It can be used to analyze and interpret data collected during a survey, right? Good, such as um, soil samples. Overall, the use of AI in surveying can help to improve the speed and accuracy of surveying work, as well as reduce the workload of surveyors by automating tasks that would normally be done manually. Now, as I said earlier, this video is to expose you. This video is to open your eyes. Is to like, uh, can I explore and exploit the functionalities of what this um, chat GPT, right? So now let's see. Let's go a bit further. The next query we are going to look at is um, application of AI in surveying. No, AI in surveying. Application of AI in surveying seems like similar, right? But now let's see the result or let's say the response of our AI. 
applications of AI in surveying, right? So now let's see of um, AI in surveying, right? Good. So now let's see what it's going to come up with. Now, another thing is that after the first response, you can actually, you know, refresh or, yeah, you can go over it again and then you get them um, similar responses, right? But now we can see that AI in solving was a bit broader. Now we now made it a bit specific or maybe when we specified applications of AI in solving, we've seen some specific applications of AI in solving or let's say in the field of solving include automated mapping. AI can be used to analyze data from aerial images, topo maps and other sources to create maps and plans automatically without the need of a manual drawing or drafting right data analysis improving accuracy detecting patterns in features like okay change detection and some other stuff right good now optimizing survey routes you know ai can be used to optimize survey routes taking into account factors and such as terrain accessibility now predictive modeling right good so now you can regenerate the response that's what we are trying to say you can regenerate response right good now predictive modeling ai can be used to predict the likelihood of certain events that's like okay since what has happened in the past 10 years, what can happen in the next 10 years, right? Good. Maybe it's still more like um, change detection. Maybe you are trying to monitor shoreline changes or maybe you're trying to monitor um, the erosion that is um, happening around or, you know, you are trying to even monitor flood, yeah, the rising water body. So it can be used what to, the pre to monitor, let's say, to predict, right? Good. It can be used in what predictive modeling. Now, these are actually topics that should um, entice us, or these are actually applications that should entice us, right? Good. Now, let's um, go a bit further. Let's now ask this um, our guy, or let's now ask this AI to give us what an example of the applications of AI in surveying, like an example of what applications of AI in surveying, of the applications that should be this, right? applications of AI in surveying. So this would or this should give us a particular example and how AI can be used in that um, example, right? Good. Now let's see what we get. This should be the query. Now let's see the response. So you can see how fast good. Now one example of the application of AI in surveying is the use of machine learning algorithms to analyze aerial images and other data to identify features and patterns that would be difficult for humans to detect, right? Good. Now they are giving us an example. For an example, let's say for example rather, an AI system might be trained to recognize patterns in the vegetations of a particular area that are indicative of underground water sources, maybe mangrove or whatever. This could be useful for surveyors who are trying to locate sources of water for irrigation and other purposes, right? Another example is the use of AI to automate the process of creating maps and plans using data from aerial images, topo maps, and other sources. An AI system can generate detailed maps and plans automatically, reducing time, the time and effort required for this task. So as you can see, finally, we say them AI can be used to optimize them survey routes by taking into account such as um, terrain accessibility as we've been told earlier. So this is or these are some of the things we can actually use um, AI for. So let's say you have a particular topic. Let's say um let's just say blueprint. Let's say blueprint or yeah blueprint of the research. Let's say research right did I spell it right good now let's come up with any topic blueprint of the research um, let's say map update of a uh, map update right good let's say map update or map revision or something let's 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 make it a map revision let's see what the blueprint will be now this can also help um, researchers okay come up with how their project would go good now blueprint of research um project on map revision using ai might include the following steps right good so now you know, if you have any project topic and you want to develop, okay, the different chapters or maybe the different um, workflow, whatever you want to call it, you can actually come to this AI. It's very, very intelligent. Yeah, very intelligent. It is going to give you the blueprint on how the project should go, right? And it's quite um, exhaustive enough. You can see it is still writing or typing. Good. Now, the first thing is to define the research question, clearly define the research question or problem that the study aims to address. Review literature, conduct a review of existing literature on map revision, including any previous studies that have used AI to update maps. Now, develop a research plan based on the research question and review of the literature. Develop a research plan 
with that outlines rather the specific steps that will be taken to address the recession questions or question right good now collect and analyze your data then create them revised map that's the revised because that's the essence of the research right good now validate to see how what those maps have been revised Validate the revised map by comparing them to other sources of data such as some field observations or gps measurements now disseminate the results you know because people are supposed to use our maps right good that's the information so disseminate the results of the research by publishing a report or article in a peer reviewed journal or presenting the findings in the conference or workshop right now implement the revised map implement revised maps in practical applications such as the uh, gi systems or printed maps right now this is quite exhaustive enough anyone who sees this or maybe any researcher who sees this this is a blueprint or these steps or this guide would be able to come up with a very very good research on this particular topic right good so as i said earlier this video is just to open your eyes like oh yeah i've been hearing about open ai i've been hearing about machine learning artificial intelligence and even the most recent package or let's say yeah most recent right good um chat and gpt that is uh, that was actually launched how can i leverage or how can i use it you know to work well as a survey or maybe take advantage of it as a survey so just um, open your eyes there are so many things we've not said there are so many things we cannot say and there are so many things you cannot even exhaust at a go so the more you go through it the more things are revealed to you and the better you use it right so we have been using it or i have been using it i've actually learned a lot from it or let's say i've actually yeah, I've actually learned a lot from it i've actually learned a lot of direct answers you know how to do some stuff so we are actually showing it to you as surveyors, maybe GIS experts, maybe geographers, anybody who comes across this video, how you can use this um, chat GPT, this um, AI tool to, uh, to solve your personal problems, right? So thanks for coming to class. We hope we have been able to open your eyes. We have been able to yeah expose you because it's not um, complete. You still need to go further, go in depth. We have been able to open your eyes on how, yeah, open your eyes to how you can use what AI, machine learning, and then uh, more importantly, this um, chat um, GPT that was actually launched by what Open AI that is free for now. So we are going to see you on our next video. We just hope that you go through some of these things that are the responses that we are given to us by the AI and see how you can build on it. Maybe come up with any project topic or research topic or maybe something that will then. Um, benefit you and benefit everyone else so we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe keep using ai or start using ai or maybe learn how to use ai and i would also learn how to use ai and i'll also keep using ai till we meet again have a very good time bye